So I got a handle today so my hand doesn't have to switch and get tired out too soon. Um, so today I want to talk about three ways to make, potentially, to make 10k per month as an appointment setter. And the reason why I want to make this video is because there's a lot of misconceptions in this space and there's a lot of course creators and gurus um, basically promising the world and then failing to deliver on it. And it's, be it's mainly because they're trying to get more people to uh, buy into the, the course or the program. Um, and I think it's doing the industry overall as a disservice, okay? So let me jump right into as if you're considering becoming an appointment setter or an entry level sales rep, um, or a sales development rep, uh, if you're in the software space, let me just tell you exactly um, what the typical expected income could be. So there's ranges as an appointment setter, right? Or sales development rep. I'm gonna use them um, uh, interchangeably. They're actually slightly different, but for the purpose of this video, um, I'm gonna just treat them the same. Um, so there's two or three different models or type of appointment setting. Um, and depending on where you are located and the type of um, duties that you actually do, your earnings will vary greatly. Now, um, what I'm used to, what I understand as, um, as an appointment setter myself is that you can expect to earn anywhere from three, four, um, up to, I'd say maybe $8,000 a month um, as an employment setter. And $8,000 a month is a very high end, on the very high end of the spectrum. Uh, most appointment setter um, don't make anywhere near that, not even half. Um, maybe two, three, four K a month would be a really good position. Um, <clears throat> And so right there, I want to say, you know, if anyone's saying, hey, you can get one job as an appointment setter, um, um, it's, it's possible. It's not like impossible, um, but it's very, very hard. A lot of things have to align and um, uh, you have to also have a, a bit of luck as well. So um, <clears throat> now that I kind of give you the, the basic, why don't I talk about if you did want to make a 10K per month as an appointment setter, how would I do it, right? And I know of people who've done it, but again, this is the top 1% who have a lot of things right and align in their, in their role. So here's how I would try to do and make 10K per month if I wanted to do an appointment setter. So number one, you have to be very, very good, meaning you have to know how to cold call, you have to be able to outbound, you have to be able to handle objections on the phone and in uh, email or in, in, in a, in a text-based format, right? Email, messaging, DMs, that type of thing. But if you just do it in the DMs, it's gonna be way harder than if you are able to pick up the phone and cold prospect to somebody who's never heard of your company before and then turning that into a meeting. Um, so that's number one, you have to be very, very good. Number two, you have to be in the right industry and the right vehicle. And what I mean by that is, if you're working for a mom and pop shop, you know, an offline business, there's no way that they can actually pay you 10K per month, even if you're the best appointment setter in the world. Um, the business model just does not allow that, okay? So choosing your industry and your vehicle is really important. I would 100% choose software as a service, SaaS. Um, think of companies like Salesforce, um, HubSpot, these are the type of companies in the software world, but I wouldn't start, I wouldn't get a job there. Why? Because that these large established companies, they already have processes and compensation plan in place already, and they have limits to it. And it's very rare that you're gonna be able to make 10K per month as an appointment setter. Um, so that's the second thing, number one, skills. Number two, you gotta choose the right vehicle. Um, the I would choose software just because that's where I, uh, that's kind of what I know and that's my world. Um, there is another space that I might choose, which is, I'd say like online education, right? Course creators, coaches, consultants, you know, the Sam Ovens world. It's still possible in that world, but the, 
the um, the challenge is going to be there's a lot of different companies that different sizes and they might not be here for the very long uh, term so i think that to make 10k as an, an, an appointment setter on the online world you have to be a lot more experienced and you have to know kind of understand the business and see where they're going the only reason why you'd be able to make 10k is because they're growing really fast and they have a lot of um uh, leads and customers their sales cycles are short within 30 days right and in that way you can set a lot of meetings um, and because they close so well um, typically you'd make a commission percentage of the sales that you bring in or the of the meetings that you set and that way compounding you can make 10k okay so those are the two in one skill set number two vehicles or industry I would pick either software or online education um, online education is gonna be if you pick software it's gonna be a lot more structured you might actually have to go to an office um, there's a lot of companies that work remote but there's structure to it whereas online education I find that there's a lot more freedom in that in, and flexibility in that way but also you probably don't have as much benefits and um, structure and guidance and training and coaching as say a software company that is funded by um, VCs and venture back capital so those are the two now here's how I would try to do it actually if I wanted to make 10k per month as an appointment setter so model number one is you get really good and then hopefully you land into uh, uh, the right opportunity right but that's probably less than 1% of all available opportunities out there uh, you have to be in the top 1% and the business that you work with have to be in the 1% of their kind of their trajectory or their growth or the industry um, here's how I would think about making 10k permanent as an appointment setter um, kind of the quote unquote normal route right but it doesn't require too much luck um, and it doesn't require you to become the 1% and hopefully you luck into a 1% company um, so I would think about appointment setting in this way number one you get one job as an appointment setter you get decently good at it that will land you anywhere between three four maybe 5k per month as an appointment setter and that's your full-time gig okay so we're halfway there now how do we get you to the other half to 10k per month okay so here's how I would think about it once you consistently exceed your KPIs your metric as, a, as an appointment setter at this one company and you're making again four or five K per month I would look into kind of multiplying that income in two or three ways the first way is stay with the same company but offer to do some closing like closing appointments on the side for the business right so your main gig is still appointment setting where you're making 5k per month and then you offer the business owner hey I want to become a closer or I want to learn closing why don't you let me in addition to my appointment setting role why don't you let me close some of the deals that maybe no one else want maybe it's a close loss it's a list of people that didn't buy before or it's a list of um, uh, prospect who didn't qualify based on the criteria or the application process that you have through so essentially you're saying hey these leads no one is working them anyways or you as a business have said that we don't want to waste time on them why don't you let me try to close those instead okay that's number one and no business owner is going to say no to this because one you're asking for more responsibility and businesses love um, uh, team members and employees who are uh, who take the initiative and who are hungry and driven um, and then from there if you close one deal let's say you're making 5k per month as an appointment setter and you make a hundred dollars every meeting that you set with a uh, with a sales that you close you might make five hundred dollars up to a thousand maybe even more um, on the on the sales that you sell you close okay and if you close five one a week right an additional one a week um, maybe more right now you're getting close to eight nine K and even 10 K okay so that's my first route that will probably get you to almost at 10 K uh, if you're making five right as an appointment setter um, that will still be hard but it will give you uh, the additional exposure and skill set of closing so it's win-win okay the second way that we think about it is how can you replicate yourself 
and your skill set as a, an appointment setter for other businesses. Okay, so this might not, might sound counterintuitive because uh, why would you work harder, right? I might actually take on a second job, uh, not as an appointment setter, but to help the business build an appointment setting process. So you're an appointment setter here at this company, they're established, they're growing, you're making good money. You can look at other companies that are slightly behind the company that you're working with now and offer to set up the appointment setting process for them for a fee, okay? And <clears throat> you can charge anywhere between two, three, up to even $5,000 to set this up for another business who's trying to get to where your current business is at. So a lot of the time, an employee of a business, as an employee, you don't think that you have valuable skill sets and information, but I can tell you that um, as an appointment setter, you touch so many parts of the business. You, you touch marketing, you touch sales, you touch the customers, you touch the systems behind the scene. If you have this mentality to learn and like just curious to learn how things work, other companies, let's say this company you're looking at is doing a million dollar, two, three, four, five million dollars a year. There's a ton of business owners who are at the 50K, 100K uh, per, per, uh, per month in, in revenue who is trying to get to where the company you're looking uh, at is trying to get to. And that's and they would be willing to pay for somebody to actually build something um, that is um, that will help you get to that point. Okay, so I would offer appointment setting management processes as as a service. And yes, you're gonna have to learn some things, uh, but that's all, it's all about, right? So I guess the the key takeaway I wanna share here is it's very very hard if you wanna make 10k per month as an appointment setter without doing anything extra, even if you wanna stay at one job. And make an appointment uh, and, and make 10k there you still have to be very very good at your job and you have to be able to find what companies would actually allow you to make that kind of money which takes skills and experience and and, and a leveling up of your skill set and your understanding of the business world so no matter which route you take one appointment job appointment setting job and you're mediocre at it it's not going to get you to 10k otherwise it'd be too easy would it wouldn't it um so that's why what I would say, uh, the third way that I might think about it is you can turn yourself into a business where you hire other people underneath you to set appointment, to become appointment setters, and then you're the business owner of that business, right? Meaning instead of becoming an appointment setter or instead of being an appointment setter yourself, you turn your, your skill set into a service where you're going to help other businesses um, get more meetings and then you're going to go and, and, and hire and, and that might be a VA that could be other appointment setters to do the job and to work for you. Um, so those would be the three model. Um, uh, ascend to a highest level skill set within the same company. So going to closing. Offer appointment setting processes set up for the businesses. Right. So that's more of a consulting service. And then number three would be turning yourself into an agency where you put people underneath you to set meetings for other businesses. Um, I would probably do it in that order if I had to to start like in from the order of easy and, and simple to start. So level up your skill to be on comma closer. Probably I would start with that. Then I would offer setting appointment processes for other businesses as a one time fee. Right. And number three, um, then you could turn yourself into an agency where you manage the whole process um, done for them. So that would be the uh, three ways to make 10K per month as an appointment setter. Anybody else who said, hey, you can make one, get apply to one job, learn a skill one time, and then magically make, oh make $10,000 a month. It's just not being truthful to you. Um, all right, so hopefully this is helpful. I'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment, subscribe for more content like this. Um, as I share with you the actual truth and the behind the scenes and the nitty gritties of the, the actual uh, uh, truth behind the scene of the industry. Cheers.